Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another episode of your review channel. And yes, I have a heater here sent to me by Claudic. Uh, it's um, so basically it's a portable ceramic electric heater model number um, DH-QN04. Um, it has all kinds of different features here. It's two it has two different speeds, uh, oscillation of course. It has a natural wind so It's a nice cool, uh, not not cool, but no, uh, more of a um, even flow of, of wind control, I believe. Um, fast and quiet heating, it says, and PTC ceramic heating, which is kind of nice. So it's really hot, real fast, and not have to worry about that. It also has some protections and safety built in, oscillation, safety, protection, small, compact. Has all the right keywords for me. Let's get to the unboxing review. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Let's go. Okay, guys, so we're in the workshop, and like I said in the opening of the, um, of the intro of the video, basically got electric heater here. Uh, by Cloudic is the name of the company. Uh, portable electric heater, small, portable, powerful. We'll see how it goes. It came in a box just like you see here. Again, DH-QN04. Let's do an unboxing, take a look at it. Also, we're gonna do some testing on it to see how hot it really gets out. Let's do that as well. And let's see what we have. So let's open it up. So packaging is kind of cool, small, compact, not very heavy. That's the first thing I do like. Let's open this up here. And you can see here how it's packed. It's a little styrofoam on top to protect the heater itself during shipping, which is very good. Let's take the heat out of the package. Let's see what we have here. And what else is in the box? So in the box here is just the instructions. So let's take this all out of the way. Move this over here. Let's take off the plastic. Okay. And I don't know about you guys, but every time I get something really cool, electronic or something i love the smell of things like that it's just kind of weird it's just if you if you like that as well let me know leave some comments down below um if you love the smell of electronic when you first get them it's just like the coolest thing has a little caution a uh, little uh, advertisement here not advertisement actually it's a caution high temperature keep electrical cords drapery um and other furnishings at least three feet away um just as a nice safety read this definitely just don't um you know need this on the floor uh with little children um this gets really really hot and so it, it's use it for what it's intended for uh, personal space use it for yourself um, make sure it is supervised by an adult okay that's really important um, so let's see what we got here so let's take a look at the paperwork here open this up and see what is included all right so what it says here basically is um, email support here. There's a little paperwork for some email support. If you have any questions or any comments, they have some good customer support. Uh, got some pretty good reviews online too. So uh, they wanted to send me one and wanted to just get uh, my opinion and what I think about it and basic overall functionality. So here is the manual here, like I said. So DH-QN04. Uh, uh, some basic instructions here. Again, a good layout and the instructions, easy to read, big print. Some of these things are so damn small, you can't read them. And um, uh, you know when you get up there you want to be able to see everything so it gives you an idea on how to turn it on how to turn it off switches and so forth um so you can go over that read that when you have a chance but it's pretty simple it's pretty simple it has a nice wire tie um i like the wire tie i'm a i like certain wire ties and this is a nice quality wire tie it's not those junky ones i like that uh looks like the, i was saying yes it's a six foot cord and this is not those cheap cords here this is a nice quality cord not crap some of these cords they give you real junk this is nice quality a highly rated cord, a 300 volt cord. That's really good to know, it holds a lot. And let's just take a look at this heater. Um, this has a 600 watt output of total power. Um, let's see what else this is. Okay, so first impressions, kind of cool. It's small as you can see here. So this is not a huge heater whatsoever. I would say this is maybe eight inches tall, really small, compact and light. Okay, it has a safety switch on the bottom, which is very important. So if it has tip over protection, you want that as well. I like the look of it. It's kind of cool. It looks like what we all know what it looks like. It's kind of got that real retro cool vibe to it. I like that look to it. In the back, it doesn't show this a lot, but it has a button power on off. So this is the main power button. And also it does have a little filter in the back to clean off uh, any lint or any dirt that gets in your in the back here. You want to keep that clean because it does affect the overall functionality of the heater. If that gets clogged, the heater will overheat and shut down so just so you know that's really important to do okay so it has a power button here as well a single button and an oscillation button here so this is all touch control so there's actually no buttons to press it's just basically touch control so hopefully we can see that and so that's it. i mean that's pretty much it. it's real simple simple design so let's plug this baby in and let's see how it sounds and how much heat we get out of it that's what we're here for okay okay so we turned it on there's the main power button here in the back okay and that there and let's just tap the power button and there it goes it's actually pretty quiet i have to say 
Um, I'm impressed with the quietness. Heat is coming out. It's not this crazy powerful heat. It's actually really kind of nice, to be honest with you. Oh, I, I picked it up. I wanted to feel it. <laughs> I mean, you see when you picked it up, what happened? It shut it right off immediately. So if I want to just hold the button down, turn it back on. I just wanted to just look at it, see if you can hear it. I put it in the microphone. It's not that loud whatsoever. It's really, really quiet. I like that. Okay, let's put it back down here. Let's turn it back on. Very, very nice. And hit the oscillation button, and that's just one tap in the oscillation button. And actually, a very nice sweep. Quite a large sweep. I like that. Let's just see where the center is. Could be a little off centered here. Yep, so we just turn it right here. Oop. That again. Okay, let's see. Hit the oscillation button again. Just want to see how this oscillates. Come on. Gotta get used to it. This is the new thing for me. I just opened it up and just played with it just now and I just want to get my first impressions. I always like to open things up and get my first impressions uh, when I first receive something. Uh, that way when you receive it, you'll know exactly what I'm feeling and you can get the idea as well. So it's quiet. It's throwing off quite a bit of heat. So let's just take a reading with my thing here and just see how much heat's coming out of here. Let's see what we got here. All right, so we're getting some serious temperatures. It's like 323 degrees coming out, so hopefully you can see that. So this is going to get hot. So again, this is why I say be careful with children, be careful with pets. Don't put it on the floor. Be careful. This can ignite drapery. you got to be very, very careful, very hot to the touch. As you can just see here, this thing is cranking. We're talking 300 degrees here, okay? This can burn you. So be very careful with that. But yes, it's throwing out a lot of heat, and that's this, what it's designed for. So let's hit the power button again. It goes through a cool down cycle here. So this is the blue. I believe this is the fan. So the, it goes to blue when it's on fan, and then off when you hit off. And now it's just the fan is running, it's cycling. So it should shut down automatically. And that's the normal cycle of this type of heater, especially ceramic heaters. It'll go through a normal cool down cycle, and then it should shut off on its own after about a minute or so. And that's what you want these to do. So don't just, you know, there it goes. It's shut right off as you can hear. Let's put it back on again. So it goes on right to heat. Heat is red. Okay, blue is fan. So you can see this. We got the red, you got the blue. So this is the fan mode. So again, doesn't throw out a ton. If you're looking to get cool with a fan, this is not going to do it. This is really going to give you the heat. If you want a little bit of cool air, this will be okay. Uh, but it's really, my opinion, designed for a really, it's really designed for heating. And it really does heat quite a bit. And let's get temperature of the, of the heat coming of the cool air coming out of it. As you can see, it's dropping down, 80s. Basically, it's, it'll get eventually to room temperature. Uh, so that's cooling down the actual. So it's, it's just taking the room air and just circulating it. Let's get the heat back on. So let's put back on heat. This heat right here. Let's see how fast this gets hot. Let's take a look at that test together. So as you can see, it's starting to crank up now. 170, 180. 200, 230. So you can see this is ramping up very, very quickly with the heat. So a lot of people don't do these tests online. I just wanted to show you how hot it gets and how fast it gets hot. So it's getting hot pretty quick. And it, it does depend on the room temperature of your house. Don't forget that. So the hotter, the colder it is in your room, it might take a little bit longer to get that room temperature up. So you can see this thing is starting to get hot. Again, we're pushing over 300 degrees. So just be careful with that. Okay, guys, that's really important. Um, do I like it? I like it a lot. Does it throw a lot of heat off? It throws a lot of heat off. Does it work with, like it says it does? It does. A great little heater. Again, tip over protection. Shuts right off. That's really important. Let's put it back on. And now it's unread again, so you can see that. So now it's cool. I mean, that's uh, it's on heat. Um, we'll touch it again. That's fan. We touch it one more time, and now it's going to the cool down phase. So a lot of people get confused with that. They don't realize it has a cool down phase. It does have a cool down phase, and that's how that works. So all in all, I like this heater. Portable, small, compact, and powerful. And that's little really kind of things we're all looking for. And I think it's like under 30 bucks. I'll leave a link down below uh, where you can pick up yours. Uh, they did send it to me. I want to do a review on it and because I, I, I love heaters. Uh, we're in New England here, and we're getting into the cold season. And... Uh, don't like that, but what are you gonna do? And that's the main power. So let's shut that off that way. Nobody can turn it on by mistake. That's important as well. So you cannot turn it on. So just make sure you get it. Turn on the power, use this heater. Really works really, really well. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave some comments down below. Tell me if you like the heater, what other heaters that you do like. Uh, if you want me to review a uh, certain product for you, let me know, leave a, uh, let me know. Just leave my, my contact information is in the, in the bio of uh, my channel. Take a look at that, and I'll be glad to look at any kind of product that you, uh, that you have. We definitely love to do these type of reviews, and I like this heater. Again, has for here, uh, read me before you tear this off. You can just rip this off after you read this. So a lot of good information is actually on the heater. 
Okay, guys, I appreciate it. Again, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell, uh, and you'll be notified when the next review is ready. All right, I appreciate you as always. I love doing these reviews. I hope it helps you make some educated and informational, informational, I don't know if that's really the right word, informative information. All right, that's it for me, guys. I appreciate it, and I'll see you at the next review.